Good morning. This is Kyle. Okay, now first of all, like, once I heard these two stories, I, I knew right off the bat I had to talk about them. Okay, like, for starters, I love to gossip. I love drama. I love conflict. And for, like, the past week, I've been on Twitter. Like, that's where I find all my news and gossip at. And um, these things been trending for, like, the last, like, week or two now. So I knew I just had to, like, make a video about it. Okay, number one, it's obviously going to have to be Justin Bieber getting a girl pregnant. I think that is just so, like... Well, I can believe it because he has, like, so many crazy fans that will, like, totally do him or whatever. But, like, my thing is that is, like, why? Okay, here's what happened. Here's Maria's side of the story. That's the girl's name, Maria Yeeter. Okay, here's what she says. She says that <clears throat> one of Justin Bieber's bodyguards came in the audience and was like, hey, would you like to meet Justin Bieber personally? And, like, any fans, she said yes. Okay. Then they got to talking or whatever, and she was like, the connection grew, then they started kissing, and then he was like, he want to go somewhere personal, so he suggested they go into the bathroom. Not very romantic, Justin Bieber, just saying, but the bathroom. Okay, they went to the bathroom, and she described it as 30 seconds. Really, Bieber? Really? Okay, now I've got to get in that, but 30 seconds, per se. And then after she said they took some pictures... And stuff like that. And then next thing you know, she was pregnant, so she said. And um, she tried to get in touch with Justin Bieber. He wasn't like replying to her, so she was like, she went media with it. She uh told the media so she could like j get Justin's attention, you know. So then you know. It got um, on the internet. Like, I logged into my Yahoo one day, and, like, the story was there, and I read the whole thing. And just, like, yesterday in a day or two, though, I got Maria's side of the story. So, that was pretty good. Now, my thing is like this. Like, all these little girls, y'all know, like, y'all know this by now. Most of y'all who probably won't watch this won't be Believer fans. But, um, every girl, like, threatens, like, like, all the little Bieber girls threaten, like, whoever they see Justin Bieber with. Maria Yeeter has a Twitter. I'm following her. She has maybe like 200 follow 2,000 followers now. But I'm following her. And every time I'm turning around, it's like these little girls picking on her. And every couple hours, her name is trending. Maria Yeeter, Maria Yeeter, Maria, Maria Yeeter. So I personally started a hashtag. I was like, believers, leave Maria Yeeter alone. I would love to get that trending because I think those little girls are young, they're immature, and I don't know what to do with themselves. They should just... Like, it's just, like, like, they don't know what to do with themselves. Their minds are so young. Like, most of them are, like, my age and younger. Like, I'm 15. I'm not a believer. I'm a little monster. Who gonna check me? But, yeah, like, I just feel like it's sad. Like, those little girls, they be picking on her. Like, we're gonna kill you, bitch. You done mess with the wrong fan base. You a hoe this. You a slut. You did this and you did that. And speaking of, like, um, stuff like that. She was about to get charged for statutory rape. Because at the time, Justin Bieber was 16 and she was uh, 19. But they were, I think there was something like the charge was like so old or whatever. Like it happened so long ago, they can't really charge her for it now. Or something like that. So, um, yeah, I just feel bad for her. I don't really think she did anything wrong. Like, Justin Bieber offered to have sex with her, so she took it. And then it turns out she thinks she's pregnant by him. And all these little girls keep saying, well, it's your fault. You're a slut. You're a slut this. They know damn well if Justin Bieber came up to them like, oh, let's have sex. They were, their clothes would be like off in a heartbeat. So I don't think they should be calling her a slut. She did what anybody else would. Yeah, think about it that way. She did what anybody else would. So I don't think she's a slut. And then, um, oh my God, there's just so many things that are like getting me mad about this whole Maria Yeter thing. I'm about to search on um, Twitter now. But it's just so many things that get me mad about the situation. Like, she's not doing anything wrong. All she wanted was to just, like, know some answers. That's all she said. She didn't. She said that she wasn't accusing him as her actual baby daddy. She wanted to uh, see was it actually him. But, um, 
Yeah. That's pretty much it. Maria feels so bad for her. She's gone through so much. She's looking for her baby daddy. Who can possibly be who can possibly be like one of the hottest stars out right now. So that's, you know, yeah. And I was reading on this website one day, like they was quoting some of the girls' main tweets. And it was one like, we all fantasize about having just been a baby. But accusing him of it is just wrong. She wasn't accusing him. She was just trying to see because she was, because she claimed that he was one of the people that she had sex around that time she had that baby. That baby is three months now. And yesterday I was on Twitter and, um, one of the things she was, um, oh yes, it was a picture leaked on the internet. I don't know by who, but one of my, uh, one of these people on Twitter uploaded it. On one side, you had a picture of, like, Justin Bieber, and on the other side was a picture of, um, Maria Uter's baby. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm on Maria Uter's side, but those babies look identical. Like, Justin Bieber baby pictures compared to Maria Uter's baby pictures look identical. So, I honestly think, like, that's gonna be Justin Bieber's baby. Somebody call Maury Povich! Justin Bieber, you are the father. And when those fraternity tests come out, it's true. I'm going to be laughing. I'm like, aha, aha. But, um, yeah, honestly, this is the end of his innocence. Like, I can't even take him seriously. Like, he's not, like, innocent anymore. I think he could stop hiding behind that cute little Canadian boy who grew up, you know, in poverty almost who finally has what he wants. I don't even take that seriously because he fucked the girl at one of his concerts. Moved on, now 17. Like, come on. Like, you don't do that. And then you end up getting her pregnant, so you most definitely don't do that. And that's, like, so immature. That's why I'm practically, like, a lesbian now because I don't take boys seriously. I think they're a big joke. Like, it's like, whatever. Like, they just, like, fucking duck. You know, smashing pads, nailing bail, and that's exactly what happened to Maria, and that's exactly why he's facing his consequences. That baby is his, and I can't wait till those results come out too. I'm like, ah, ha, bitch, that's what you get. Oh, and now you know he goes just. I mean, uh, um, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez currently has it commented on any other romance and drama that's going on, but I think she has a lot to say. She just, you know. Trying to stay in the shadows, and don't, she don't want to be mentioned or whatever. Because you know, like Selena's like really shy, or whatever. I can relate. I was really shy. But yeah, that's about it. I feel bad for Maria. Now this next story, y'all should probably know what I'm talking about. The Kim K marriage that lasted for like what a month or two months now? Seventy? What seventy two days? <clears throat> lasted for like seventy two days. I think that's out. Um, I don't really have much to say on this because, I mean, it's Kim Kardashian. She pop. She wasn't really even ready, like. And then on Twitter, it was like things longer than Kim Kardashian's marriage, and some people were like Lindsay Lohan's coke line, and I was just thought that was hilarious. Um. But yeah, besides all of that. I don't really have much to say on it. I just wanted to mention it. Like, I, I honestly, I didn't think the marriage would last, but I didn't think it would um, end that early. Like, I had a feeling it was going to last, but I didn't think it would end that early. Um, I think around the time after she uh, had her wedding, she was like, she wants to be a wedding planner. So I think that's cute or whatever. Like, she did a good job with her wedding, so I think... Like, now that she wants to be a wedding planner, she can, like, make other people's weddings cool, too. I think that would be really cute. So, while she's sitting up here planning other people's weddings, I hope, I just hope, that she don't be thinking about having another one, because marriage is not for her. It's just not, uh, oh, gosh. I'm so mad now. <laughs> Believers are the best believers are the best fan base of trending on Twitter right now. Like I hate how they think that. Like I think it's little monsters. Because these girls act so obsessed. Only reason why they're doing this because they're like so young, their minds are young. Um it's just like a young thing, you know? They don't know like what's right, what's wrong.
But, yeah. That's pretty much it. I feel bad for Kim K. And already, I really feel bad for her husband. She played the shit out of him. Like, like, oh yeah, I'm married to Kim Kardashian. Bitch, I want a divorce. I'm like, why? But, like, I feel sorry for him mainly. She like, fuck this, I can get any man I want. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. This video is like, what, ten and a half minutes? So that's all I wanted to say. I will be trying to do a video diary tonight. Because if I talk about what happened last night, then I will have like five more minutes added on to this video. And that's not what I want. So, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to sit here and eat my, uh... My uh, pita chips. I love pita chips. And um, my hummus. Organic, of course. And I have some uh, Diet Coke here. I will tell you how I got all this stuff because I didn't buy it. And no, I did not steal it. You'll have to wait till tonight and see how I got it all. Alright, bye.